playing the Metro, uh, and welcome to the review. Uh, in this review, you'll see that I picked up the uh, brand new Thomas in the Volvi range. Uh, I think it's a really nice model, um, and a bit better than the other ones that were released uh, previously, which are now discontinued. Uh, please enjoy. Uh, so here you can see um, I've got the 2016 version of Thomas. Um, so what do I think about this model? Um, I think it's really, really good indeed. Um, it's not the only Hornby Thomas model that I've got. I've got the Great Discovery Thomas. Um, I've also got the um, one from 1998. Um, and that one from 1998 has been, I've been very lucky. Um, it's been on the Wellingborough Museum uh, layout, along with Murdoch and Oliver. Uh, Wellingborough is the town that I live in, and like I said, um, down at the Wellingborough Museum, they've got a massive layout, and I've been lucky enough to have my Thomas one on there. And so have my back from Bill and Ben and Donald and Douglas and Duck, the Great Western Engine. I, I want to really one thing about the whistle for water. Now, I whistle for water, but no, it's just got the plan. We've had a fast water with 22 coaches, the two of them. And I've come to a lovely spot around the one side. And earlier this year as well, I picked up the uh, limited edition 70th anniversary Thomas. Um, Thomas the Tank Engine was the second book of the uh, Railway series, and that was released in 1946, which makes Thomas 70 years old this year. Also this year, uh, Hatton's, which is a model railway sh uh, shop, is also 70 years old. It used to be in Liverpool, um, and you can see here um, a photo of me standing outside it when I was in Liverpool. Um, however, it's now moved to Cheshire, but it's still running. I'm still the same business, so that's 70 as well. Um, and I got this model of Thomas um, from Wellingborough Trains and Models, which is the shop uh, in Wellingborough. Uh, I'm always one to support my local shops. And this model cost me £38. Um, I didn't think that was such a bad price. Um, I've seen the older uh, one before the range was discontinued was uh, £43. Uh, and I think this one's a lot better. Um, I think this one's definitely a lot better um, because the running board there is like the white sort of grey colour. Um, so they've actually painted it the right colour this time. Uh, Thomas, as you know, is also painted a, a light shade of blue. Uh, and this model here um, is also a very light shade of blue. Um, I also like the face because it's based upon, um, obviously, the TV series. Uh, the model series, that is. And I prefer the model series to the CGI series of the show. So that's definitely a real plus in my books. Um, I've also tested it out and it runs really well indeed. So here you can see uh, the packaging that the new Thomas comes in, uh, and then on the back it advertises uh, just a few of the characters and that that come in the r ranges of 2016. Uh, so you've got Thomas, Percy, Annie, Clarabel, um, and also now the trucks um, only come as packs. Um, however, they do actually work out cheaper um, that way just slightly because sometimes it can cost like nowadays like £15 just to get one truck. 
Uh, whereas if you buy them in a set, you can get them for quite a good price. Um, so here's the side of the box. Uh, barcode, and obviously it says Thomas the Tank Engine, as this is obviously Thomas the Tank Engine. It says the word locomotive there in different languages. Um, and then you've got the CGI Thomas there. Um, and then if you take it out of the packaging, um, you may remember that most of the other ones came in polystyrene. Um, however, this one's in uh, plastic. What you have to do is uh, take this one off. It's a bit fiddly. Um, so it comes with two brake pipes that you can attach to the front, um, which I haven't actually got around to doing yet. And there's Thomas uh, in the plastic. And basically what you have to do is uh, pull that bit out there to get Thomas out. And I actually have to admit that I preferred the uh, polystyrene to uh, this plastic. I thought in the polystyrene it was a little bit safer, but I mean that's my opinion. Um, but in general the new packaging it isn't that bad, though I certainly don't think it's as good as the old style uh, packaging. If we look at underneath the model of Thomas, um, see that it was made in 2015, it's written underneath just there. Um, and that was obviously the year before 2016, so they're ready for production this year. So overall, um, all things considered, I think this is a very good model. Um, if I had to give it a score, I'd happily give it uh, a 10 out of 10, because a lot more effort has been put into it, and it is a lot better uh, than the previous Thomas that, I, um, that was released. Though I'll always like the previous Thomas, as it was the one I was brought up with. Um, you know, and it's obviously it's got a bit of a sentimental reason. Um, but no, I'd give this one a 10 out of 10, and I think that's a very reasonable and good score. And it certainly looks like uh, Thomas and the Thomas that I grew up with.